Hey, what is going on, you guys? It's Stupid Player Negative AE, and welcome back to Steins Gate. Let's just continue off right where we were. I think last episode we were looking for a PC that was donated to the shrine, I think. And uh, we were asking him where it is. Of course, we do not disclose any classified information like how we plan to hack CERN or how. The okay, yeah. I don't know if donated is the right word to use. But an old computer was entrusted to this shrine about nine years ago. No way, really? That's it. That has to be it. Please wait here. I'll go get it. Lukako's father comes back in about ten minutes. His face is bright red and he's carrying a large cardboard box. His gait is fairly unsteady. I wonder if he'll be okay. Phew. It was hard to dig out, and I think this is—I think this is what you're looking for. Hmm. Luca's dad places the box on the ground, and takes a deep breath as he rubs his back. Was it that heavy? I think him and take a look inside. An IBM 5100. Inside is a simple computer with an integrated monitor. The monitor is only as big as a GPS screen. I uh, compare it to the IBM 5100 image I found from Shining Finger, and they look very similar. Ah, look at this. Lukaku points to the logo between the tape drive and the monitor. It says IBM 5100 Portable Computer. What was that tip just there? There was a tip. Uh, tape drive. Before the invention of the floppy disk, data was stored on magnetic cassette tapes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, specialized drives to read these tapes were the norm for computers back in the 1970s. Huh. Um. Oh, jeez. Finally, I have solved Occupus Urban Legend. <laughs> uh. The voice acting. This is the Phantom PC of Akibara. It's it's in excellent condition. There's only a thin layer of dust on it. But it looks like we'll need to plug it in to see if it works. Now the problem is whether Lukaku's father will lend it to me. <laughs> Urushibara. I'll be I'll be blunt. Uh, may I borrow this computer? <laughs> sure. Seriously? Is it okay for me to, uh, for a priest to just lend out property like that? Items which are donated to the tribe? I never heard of anything like that. That's why I was expecting him to refuse. When this was entrusted to us, the owner said this. If a young man ever appears and says that he needs this computer no matter what, please lend it to him with my blessings. What? I didn't think it was actually happened. Uh, and to be honest, I'd forgotten about it entirely until you reminded me. I'm happy to lend it to you, Hoyinkyun. Uh, but please be sure to return it when you're when you're done, okay? Of course. Thank you. Wow, that's weird. I bow deeply, but in my heart I'm grinning like a madman. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Things are going to better than I anticipated. It's almost like everything's being handed to me on a silver platter. Now, certain secrets will be laid bare. We can expose their wicked research, and possibly even gather hints on the creation of a time machine. And then, I can complete the first time machine in human history. Alright, so here's what I'm thinking. So, that guy just said that the IBN 5100 was given to him by a person, and the person said if a young man ever appears and demands that he, he needs it, then he get, then that he give it to me. So, what if that's me in the past? What? What if that's me in the past? I, I don't know. That's just my thinking right now. Now I have the IBM 5100 back to lab. Or it could be John Titor. He somehow got over here and delivered a shrine, or delivered a IBM 5100 to the shrine. But unfortunately, I don't have a car to transport it. In fact, I don't even have a license. Same goes for my assistant. 
You don't have. You both don't have a life. Can Americans start driving at 16? How come you don't have a license? What is something wrong with that? I spend all my time doing research. You're wasting your youth. <laughs> I thought so too until I met you. Now I realize I'm doing just fine. <laughs> Touche. That's funny. Um, no fighting, please. Lukaku's flustered again. You're a lifesaver, Lukaku. Thank your father again for me. Luca's dad has already returned to the shrine office. Luka nods, or Lukaku nods. Your father is a lovely man. Eh? Lukaku and I freeze at my assistant's nonchalant words. <laughs> my father is married, adultery is bad. Huh? I see, assistant, so you like older men. Hey, wait, don't misunderstand you two. That's not what I meant. I won't give up my father. <laughs> Please don't cry. I just meant I was jealous of how well you get along with your father, that's all. Of course, I'm sorry for the weird misunderstanding. That was so weird of me. That was so rude of me. Uh, don't cry, we've resolved the misunderstanding. Uh, so it's all okay. But in the depths of your heart lie feelings for but in the depths of your heart lie feelings for Luca's dad. <laughs> Die. Christina turns away. I decided or I decided to leave it at that. Angering her any further could lead to violence. Lukaku. Don't forget your practice swings with the Samidari. Yes, sir. I'll do my best. El Sai Kangale. It's Kanguru. Don't forget it. I'm sorry. I know that word. It's the only word I know. No, that's not true. I know a lot of words. Hey, what kind of low life teases a girl? I wouldn't know. Lukaku is a guy. <laughs> The joke again, yes! No, they need to keep that going the entire time. I want the end gag to be, but he's a guy, credits. That would be super funny. 10 out of 10 game, if that's how it ends. It's heavy. I can barely get it off the ground. I put it down for now. Now I know why Luca, or Luca's dad was red in the face when he brought this thing in. Is it that heavy? Pathetic. It's only as big as a CRT monitor. Then why don't you try carrying it? Then you'll then you'll understand. Good to see the size grabs both ends of the card box, cardboard box, and lifts. She strains with all her might, but gives up without even lifting it even a centimeter. It's really heavy. She blushes slightly, but still maintains her usual frown. My assistant seems to have a strong competitive spirit. This thing's gotta weigh like 30 kilos. Maybe we should have borrowed a push cart. urishibara san is there one in the shrine? Um, there is one, but actually it's broken. I'm sorry. Oh. Is there some other place we could borrow? No, we don't need a push cart. Then how are you going to bring it back? It takes about 10 minutes to walk down to your rundown lab from here. It may be too heavy for one person, but it's a different story for you two. You and I, or for two, you and I just need to carry it together. Why else do you think I made you my assistant? So that's why. Well, if we carry it together, we might be able to manage, but... I refuse. <laughs> huh? I, I, I said, why are you embarrassed? 
<laughs> Why are you embarrassed? I'm pretty sure you said, but I refuse. Wait. Shut up. I said no. <laughs> That's why she's blushing. But I refuse is a famous manga quote. Could Kurusu be an at channeler? Yeah, but I refuse is from at channel. That's what I remember. The whole reason you made me a la lab mem was to borrow my knowledge. From this, it is elementary to derive the following. I won't do physical labor. I see. Then I guess I have no choice. I'll do my best to carry it, but... I glance at Ukako. He twitches when he notices my look and then timidly raises his hand with... Or raises his hand with tears in his eyes. Um, th then I will. You're going to help? Will you be okay? Y yes, I'll do my best. No, Lukaku, I shouldn't make you help me. I can manage this by myself. But we're friends, Okabe-san. I want to help you. Nah, nah, I'll do it myself. <laughs> I'll help you. Then, uh, uh, um, me too. Please, go ahead. What? <laughs> Don't you know, Christina? This is what you call a Japanese gag. Damn, he actually said Japanese gag. Oh, I thought it was like a like a translation. He actually said it. That's funny shit. You sneaky. Mm -hmm. Japanese gag. Why is it so funny to me? Thanks for the backup, Lukaku. That, that settled my system. will help you carry the computer so you don't have to help. Thank you for the offer. Oh, okay. If that's how it is, then... Now, assistant, since you volunteered, I won't let you refuse. Grab and... Grab, hold, and heave. Fine. Good to see you and I lift up the cardboard. That's a nice picture. Uh, the, the two's burden is considerably easier when distributed between two people. Why do we have to be face to face? Why does it matter? We're positioned so that we're looking at each other. But there's no way to weigh the hold it, so what are you gonna do? Come on, let's just go. I start to walk out of the shrine. Hey, stop! Stop! I said stop! You're a noisy one. Don't walk forwards, then I have to walk forwards. Let's walk sideways. Or I, I have to walk backwards. Yeah. Whatever. Get moving, assistant. Hey, listen, please. Just listen. I can't walk backwards. Of course you can. You're my assistant. I appreciate the vote of confidence, but I can't. I'm asking you to go sideways. No, I'm telling you to go sideways. Sideways! I'm gonna fall! Uh, hey, we're here, though. It's nighttime, though. I wish you would tell me the time as well. That'd be pretty cool. It's dark, but I, I mean, that would be a lot of work, though. Uh, it's dark by the time we get to the lab. It's normally uh, less than a 50-minute walk, but since Kurosu kept taking breaks, it ended up being twice as long. <sighs> we finally made it. I'm exhausted. If you didn't complain so much about every little thing, we would have gotten here sooner. Right back at you. You stopped to take a break at least five times along the way. That's because I wasn't feeling well. Are you okay? It's just occasionally my right arm aches, and when it does, dark destructive impulses overcome my soul. Shut up, or I'll tear the f peripheral nerves out of that arm. Holy crap, there's something wrong with this girl. Something wrong with you! Rub out my nerves, it's like from something from last year's new gen incidents. Uh, fictional, uh, the popular name for the string of bizarre murders, serial murders that occurred in Shiribara. A total of 14 people died, and all seven names are fictional. Okay. The methods of the murder were unorthodox. 
uh, which led to the cold, uh, the mass media, new generation madness. A 25 year old man was arrested as a culprit, but passed away in the earthquake immediately afterwards. To this day, rumors. That's cool. That's a cool backstory. I'll shut up. Let's bring this IBN fi I'm, I, into the lab. The final barrier awaits. Uh, we have to ascend this rickety building's narrow staircase. Shouldn't you get your friends to help? You're right. Hey, check the window. The lab lights are on. Huh? Part-time warrior comes out of the prawn tube workshop with perfect timing. If it isn't Okabe Rintaro, what you, what you got there? <laughs> you want to know? Then I'll tell you. Wait, if you're just gonna stand and talk, shouldn't we put the box down first? Yeah, actually, wait, this will only take a second. Well, what is it? What if I told you it's an IVN 5100? No way, you found it? Wow, way to go, Okabe Rintaro! I wish she'd stop calling me by my full name. <laughs> <laughs> but if she's gonna do that, she might as or she should at least call me Oin Kyuma. Oin Kyoma. Uh, where is it? Or what was it? Uh, it's heavy. Kurusu starts giving in. I'm about, I'm about at my limit too. Let's put it down. Set it on the ground gently. Uh, so not to damage any of the contents. So where was it? Yanabayashi Shrine. You mean like a Shinto shrine? Yeah. Why was it there? Suddenly Suzuha looks at Kudasu. Gas. And then approaches. Kudusu until they're close enough to feel each other's breath. Yes. Makise Kudusu? Yes. For some reason, she stares at Kudusu with frightful intensity. I'm interested. I'm interested. I'm really interested. Kudusu narrows her eyes in opposition. What's going on here? I can't move a muscle. The air is so thick with tension. What is it? Have I done something wrong? Hmm. Suzuha turns away without looking back and then disappears into the bronze tube workshop. Who was that? Now Kudasu demands answers from me. She works part time at that store. Why was she glaring at me? How should I know? Did you do something to make her angry? Never seen her before in my life. How rude. I mean, well, you, you are well known. Kudusu put to fight with me the first time we met too, but that was a hallucination. Uh, so I don't say anything. <laughs> I get Daru and Mayori to come downstairs or come down to help us, and the four of us carry the IBN 5100 upstairs. Good work, everyone. With this, we can fight. Who are you fighting? Sir. And the system that rules the world. If that's what makes you happy. Happy? I do not desire happiness. Have you forgotten? I'm an insane mad scientist. What I desire is chaos. The time machine exists to bring chaos to the world. Never mind happiness. You're just a junkie, hyper secreting beta endorphins. The neurotransmitter, yeah. Uh, producing euphoria, the effect is known as runner's high. I didn't know, it was, I thought it was just called endorphin. I guess beta endorphins is the same deal. I guess it's the same deal. Uh, yeah, da -da. Okay, I don't want you doing bad things, remember? 
But wow, I can't believe you found one. You make the impossible look easy. That's why we love you. That's why we... Uh, I certainly don't admire him. Huh? Eh? Eh? <laughs> you shouldn't know that, dude, unless you watch frickin' the same stuff Dar watches. It's all thanks to Mayushi. Mayori, uh, uh, oblivious as always, puffs out her chest with pride. But I don't miss Kudasu's relief sigh. She keeps dropping manga quotes. Does this mean what I think it means? Without Mayushi's info, Okurin would still be lost on the streets of Akiba. Mayuri's right. She did well this time. Anyway, it's time for Mayushi to go home. What about you, Christian? <laughs> Do you want to go together? Christian? Thanks, but I'm going to stay here a little longer. Looks like Kudusu's interested in the IBN 5100 and CERN after all. That reminds me, I haven't filled her in yet. Okay, but you should get home before it's too late. See you tomorrow. Mary raises her hand as she leaves. Now then, Daru, what do you think? When do you think we can use the IBN 5100 to hack CERN? Hmm, well. Daru talks as he plugs the IBN 5100's power adapter into the wall. He turns the machine on and the power supply begins to make a turbulent noise. Wow, it actually turned on. First I need to learn how to use this thing. It looks like the hooking it up is going to be a pain. It might take a while, I can't play with this thing and search the server admin IDs at the same time. Alright, prioritize the ID search. If possible, I'd like you to get the IBN 5100 ready to use this month, though. There's still 30 days left in this month. It's not gonna take that long. That's my super hacker. Well? Well, what? Alright, I'm gonna read this. What, Shining Finger? Have you not fed any leads yet? <laughs> Nothing at all on my end. I've been to a lot of stories, but no one of them has led me to an IBN 5100 on display. Maybe I should have tried asking. Anyway, let me know if you found anything, Moeka. Hey, Okabe. What? I look up. Kodosu's glaring at me. What? Did you just call me? I called you. O Okabe. Okabe. You called me Okabe. <laughs> I take one step towards Kudasu. <laughs> We've been calling you Okabe the entire time. <laughs> and she takes a step back. Time out, time out. Dar tries to hold me back, but I shake him off and take a step closer. Kudusu doesn't step back this time. Without taking her eyes off me, she bites her lip and curls her hands into fists. Did you just call me Okabe? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I did. Problem? Yes, I'm younger than you, but I insist on you on calling... But you insist on calling me ridiculous names like Christina and Zombie, so I don't think I need to show you any respect by adding San... And besides, oh, I understand. That's not the problem. I am not Okabe. I am Oinkomada. That's funny. God, you're so full of yourself. From now on, call me Oin. That or Kyoma. Kudusu snaps at me and turns away. Are those really are those tears I see in her eyes? Are, are you crying? I'm not crying. It's not like I was scared of you for a second there or anything. 
I definitely wasn't relieved when he started talking like an idiot, okay? <laughs> she stalks over to the window and stares outside. I see her wipe her eyes back with- what the f- What is happening? Daru, why is my assistant crying? <laughs> Daru. She just said so herself just now. All I did was correct her on my name. <laughs> Maybe she acts strong, but is actually weak on the inside. That would be pretty moe. Mm, whatever, back to checking mail. But I'm thirsty for after a hard day's work, so before I do that, I take a fresh Dr. P out of the fridge. Hey, aren't you going to tell me what's going on? I toss the doctor, or I toss the bottle at Kudasu when she turns around. <laughs> Tries to catch it, but m fails magnificently. She picks the bottle up out the floor, then shoots me a glare. I'll explain it in a second. Drink that while you wait. Gee, thanks. <laughs> I need to send a reply to Shining Finger. But she ended up being no help at all, but... She ended up being no help at all, but I suppose I can't just say nothing. I got the goods. Over. I send a concise message as... I send a concise a message as possible. Immediately. It's gonna be immediately. Now then. Yep, there it is. I turn back to Kudasu, but the reply comes in before I can open my mouth. Turn around in less than five seconds. She must have her phone in her hand 24-7. It's the only possible explanation. The goods? You found an IVN 5100? Gimme. Gimme? What nonsense is this? So, but can I just... I'm not the owner. I cannot just give it to you. I send that. Another instant reply. <laughs> uh, let me borrow it. Moika. It's easy to imagine what will happen if I lend it to her. She'll disappear and we'll never see the IBN 5100 again. No borrowing it either. You can visit our lab if you want to see it, but no touching. Don't fucking tell her where your building is. Oh my goodness, you're such an idiot. Don't do that. She's gonna... She's gonna be gone. She's gonna come in, take it, and leave. Fucking just use it for the thing that you needed to use it. You shouldn't even reply. She wouldn't... She would've known nothing. She would've known nothing. You shouldn't even reply to her. This man is an idiot. Sorry for the wait, Christina. I look up and see Kudasu drinking the Dr. P. Oh, you're a fan of the doc, I see. What the fuck? I've lived seven years at its birthplace, after all. Excellent. We'll make great drinking buddies. I'm a minor. That's not what I meant. I meant Dr. P drinking buddies. Is that all you drink? Kudusu shrugs her shoulders and takes another swig, signaling me to talk. And so I explain how Daru and I hacked into CERN. And how they've already had the LHC in operation for nine years. And how they successfully created many black holes. And how it looks like they're researching time travel. And how they haven't disclosed any of that to the world. Kudusu's expression grows more and more intense as she listens to the story. CERN certainly is acting strange, but has the IBN 5100 involved? CERN's database uses an IBN 5100. So? The only way to decrypt that database is to use an IBN 5100 of her own. How do you know that? I have my sources. I don't drop tight to her name. I have no doubt this junior girl would laugh if I did. Kudusu puts a finger to her lip, deep in thought. Setting the IBN 5100 and such aside, I want to see proof that CERN really is doing that sort of research. True, we didn't get any sort of definite proof that CERN's time travel research 
Last time we hacked him. Daru, how much longer will it take? Uh, will it take much longer to find the server admin's account? Actually, I was just thinking about doing that. It shouldn't take more than half a day, I guess. There you go. I'll wait until then. You'll wait? It's already getting dark. Why not go home tonight and come back tomorrow morning? No thanks. I'll wait. I want to know as soon as possible. Even if it's just a microsecond sooner. <laughs> That's the spirit. You're already fascinated by the conspiracy. You can't help but to know what lies at the heart of Cern. If what you guys are saying is true, then this isn't something to joke about. CERN is the world's top research institution. If they're doing secret experiments without publishing their results, they're making fools of scientists the world over. And that's only if it's true, though. She finishes the by emphasizing that point again. She doesn't look like she believes this. Anyway, Daru, I'll leave it to you. According to Dari's research, the IBM 5100 weighs 25 kilos. For now, we'll leave it on the shelf in the development room. Can I see it here? Is it? Can I see it? I don't know. We carried the cardboard box to the room, oh, half dragging it. Kudisu follows. Can you show me the phone wave? Indeed. Want to experiment? You haven't been able to send another email to the past yet, right? Do you know why? I can only shake my head. Let's run some tests. Kudisu looks around the development room. Man, you have a ton of junk. It's not junk. Since you're new to the Future Gadget Laboratory, I'll explain. These are glorious fruits of our science. The Future Gadgets. Future Gadgets 1 through 7 are stored here. The phone wave, which you are already familiar, is gadget number 8. Future Gadgets, huh? Kudisu casually picks up the Future Gadget 4. Mode Snake up from the shelf? Mode Snake up from the shelf. Okay. Future Gadget 4 Mode Snake. Hey, isn't this a weapon? Future Gadget 4 Mode Snake is designed after a Claymore landmine. This is an instant humidifier. How confusing. And dangerous. Insert water, turn the power on, and in mere seconds he creates a thick cloud of steam. So, if it's, so it's junk. I thought so. Sighs and returns the Mode Snake to the shelf. I'm borrowing this. Borrowing what? Oh. <laughs> Without waiting for a reply, she grabs Dara's never-worn lab coat from the shelf and puts it on gallantly. Whoa. It's just not right without a lab coat. Overcome with emotion, I seize Kodosu's hands and grasp it firmly. Hey. Assistant. You get it, don't you? Get what? Let go! If you're gonna do science, you need a lab coat, right? I told Daru over and over, but he wouldn't wear one. But my assistant is different. She put it on before I even said anything. Uh, I knew you were meant for this, Christina. You're the best assistant a mad scientist could ask for. I don't know if that's supposed to be a compliment, but it's coming for, uh, off as an insult. So let go. Uh, she takes her hand to me. Uh, giving you that lab coat to uh, commemorate your joining the lab, don't worry. It's never been worn. Or maybe this fateful encounter between you and that lab coat was decided by destiny long ago. Daru is not wearing it, just be <laughs> it was just another inevitabil inevitability. This is the choice of Stein's... Shut up so we can start the experiment. <laughs> Thoughts. And at that, I'm on the end of the episode. We'll see what the experiment is next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you feel necessary because I upload a lot of stuff uh, similar to this. Story-based, roguelike stuff. Um, you know. You know the deal. I hope you guys 
Have the best rest of your day, and peace out, you guys.